YouTube. We are back again today for another episode of Bauer Family Learns. Today I'm here with my seven-year-old son, Sean. Hi. And we are going to be learning Manhattan, the Spiel des Jahres winner from 1994, the best family weight game from 1994. Back in print from Fox Mind Games is for two to four players. Age is A+, plus. it'll take about 40 minutes to play. And I'm going to teach Sean as I teach you how to play the game. So in Manhattan, this is a really simple game in which you are going to be setting out your buildings right here. And you're going to have one-story buildings, which I'll show you right here on the camera. Uh, we'll have this little row of one. So you see those, buddy? Mm -hmm. You'll have two-story buildings, which will have one, two, like those are right there. And you'll have three- and four-story buildings. Now, in a normal three- and four-player version of the game, you would only have one color. However, since this is a special two-player version of the game, I will be playing as both yellow and blue, and Sean will be playing as both purple and and orange so we're gonna have four different score tracks on the score tracker but at the end of the game i will combine yellow and blue score you will combine orange and purple score and we'll see who wins at that point so you don't want orange and purple to be competing with each other in the way you're going to be scoring points because let's talk about how you're going to score points okay? okay there's only three ways to score points in the entire game and at the end of a round we're going to check for scoring points if you if you can see your piece, if it's at the top, and you control an area, you're automatically going to get one point. So let's just pretend that at the end of the round I had this, this, and that right there. I would immediately score three points, one for having one here, one for having one here, and one for having one there. All right? Now the next thing you're going to look at is you're going to look at each little block of the city. So this is like a block. Okay? Whoever has the control over the most different areas in here would get two points so in this particular example i would get two points here two points there and two points here because i have one and you have zero mm -hmm. last but not least whoever has the tallest skyscraper in the entire city gets three points so you are going to score points from controlling different areas no matter how small or how big that'll get you one point for controlling the most areas in a little chunk of the city a little block right here and for having the tallest skyscraper in the entire game. Those are the only three ways you're going to score points, all right? Now let's talk about how you're going to put these little skyscrapers out. On your turn, and we're going to take turns, you're going to play a card. And the cards, you don't need to look at the artwork. The artwork doesn't really uh, matter in this. Are going to show you a location on this 3x3 three three grid where you can play it. So if I play this card, I could play any one of my pieces that I had pre-selected. And I'll explain that in a second. I can put it here. Or I could put it there. Where, where else could I put it? Can you show me? There. Yep, there. There. Right here and right there. Mm -hmm. As long as, and here's the rule, it's really important, I'm the only person there, or when I place a piece there, I am now in control of that area. So let's give you an example right here. So let's say that you had purple right out here. I could not play this blue right here because I would not have control of this building because I would have one story and you would have one, two, three stories. So I could not actually play right there. All right? So I, if I wanted to play there, I would have to play either my three or my four there. Mm. So that is how that is going to work. So we have four cards. Mm -hmm. And I think we're about ready. You see, uh, you see how the scoring works. So let's go through some of the little things. And let's just go through the first round. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select the building box blocks that you want to play this turn. You're going to select four yellow or four orange and four purple. Whatever size you want. You can do four ones. You can do all your four big ones. However you want to do it. But do that right now. And you're going to set them right down here. So uh, I'm going to select these two. And I'll select these three. And... Those ones right there. Okay. And if you're playing at a different player count, this is where the game will be getting a little bit different because you'll be playing a different number of these than we will be playing. I believe it's uh, like six, I think it was, for the, the three and the four player version of the game. All right. You good? Mm -hmm. You got four and four? Mm -hmm. All right, so now what we're going to do, and it starts with the oldest player, so I actually get to go first. I get this little black cube to symbolize that I'm the oldest player. You're going to play one of your cards from your hand, and I'm gonna, we're going to do this one at a time, and then you're going to put one of your pieces that's right here out. 
Now, this is the rule. It has to be in this area. You can't play anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take control of that one right there. So I discard that card, and then I draw myself a new card, and it's your turn. Okay. So you're going to play one of your cards, and then you're going to take one of your pieces from the middle, and you're going to play it out. This one. All right. So which of these pieces would you like to play, and where would you like to play it? I'm going to put this purple one right there. All right. So that card gets discarded, and you draw a new card. And you know what we'll actually do? We're actually just going to keep these cards right here so you can draw your new card for yourself. So that way I don't have to remember to do it every time. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and jump in your city. Actually, let's keep the discard pile right here, too. How about what that? What you doing in my city? So I will be joining your city right here. It is your turn. Can you add to this? You can. You can add to your thing if you'd like to. Or you can play it somewhere different. I am missing a color. Did I screw this up? Good. Hey. No, no, no. You have to play a card first, Sean. So you have oh, yeah. to play one of the cards out of your hand. This one. Alright, you're doing that one. And what color are you going to place? Orange or purple? That would be competing with yourself, Sean. That's exactly what I was talking about that you probably don't want to do. Right now, you would be trying to fight purple for one point. You are purple, so fighting yourself is not a wise choice. Thank you. There you go. So now that, that piece right there, if no one else goes into the city, is worth three points. One, for you controlling that area right there. And two, for you controlling that block right there. Do you see how nice it is not to fight yourself? So you don't want to be fighting yourself. Let's see, what do I got? My four cards, don't forget to draw a card, as I have forgot. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go right, right, and put this one. I'll go down here with the blue. And it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to put something right. Okay. There will be a purple going right at the top, right there. All right. Sounds good. Now, one thing that I do want to mention. Draw, so first and foremost, draw yourself a card. Is that when... So let's pretend that I were to go with my yellow and I were to go right here on top of you. I could do that because I have one and you have one. But now I would have control of that area. So whoever's on top ultimately has the control. Okay? I'm not going to go there. But I'm letting you, letting you know that that is how that works. Okay? Ah. So you can, you can essentially take control of somebody's building just by tying them. Let's see. I will go right here and we will get yellow. Right there. Hey, buddy, this is our city, too. Orange, your turn. Okay. Playing out this. All right. Going with a three. What you doing in my city? You cannot do that. What? Why can you not do that? Oh, yeah, because it's bigger. It is bigger. I have three stories, and you have one story. Now, you if you had a three-story or a four-story, you could play it on top of here. And that would be great, actually, because that would give you the tallest building as well, which is three bonus points. But you do not have a three or four story, so you cannot do that. So you have to play that somewhere else. So yeah. So you can hey, either buddy. fight. The, the two smart choices were to either come fight me in one of these cities or to just take over the city all for yourself. Either one. Hey, buddy. Solid choice. All I'm right. making a city here, too. Draw your card. Hmm. I will go ahead and do this, and I will start my own yellow city down here. It will be just yellows. It will be glorious. Okay. Playing this. All right, all right. Did you say... Why are you in my city? Leave me alone. 
Draw a card. All right. You want to you wanna dance? You want to dance? How about we dance? And I'm going to go oh. just like splatow right here. This is Yellow City. Yellow runs this city. Your turn. Don't be so sure about that, brother. Why are you popping up on every block, on every corner? <laughs> Boss, we don't have the cards to deal with in there. We don't have the cards. Draw a card. <laughs> Fine. We better protect our other building down here. Your turn. Sean, you cannot bump these. You cannot bump down here. If you bump these, we will not know what the score is. So please be more careful, okay? okay? Right now, it's not a big deal. But no one. No one scored anything. But once they get down here, if they get messed up, that's going to be a big bummer. I wish actually that was uh, there was a better way to keep track of that. Okay, my turn. Yes. All right. Stop. What, what are you doing? Why is purple in this city? Purple was not even invited. What are you doing, Sean? Um, so now purple controls that skyscraper. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go right in the middle, and we'll go right here. And that is my last one that I played. So now it's your turn. And you have your last one to play. Okay. I'm going to play this. The All right. middle. Right, are you going in the middle? Bump dude. It. Dude. What are you doing? Why are you here, draw card? So, we have completed round number one. I wish there was a way to keep track of the round number as well. That's slightly annoying. You will be the first player in the next round, but first we need to do the scoring. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find out what the tallest building is. I do believe this tallest building is my four-story one right over there. Yes, 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 yes. Which means I will score three points for blue, almighty blue, right there. Next, we need to see the individual, or we need to, most buildings owned in a city. In each city, the player who owns the most skyscrapers wins two points. In a tie, nobody gets it. So right here... Nobody. Nobody gets it. Right here. Nobody gets it. Nobody gets it. Nobody gets it. Nobody gets it. This is the only one that scores two points. Because uh, everywhere else is tied. Oh. I thought I got this. You have two purple in control and I have two yellow. Remember, oh, yeah. purple and orange could still be competing against each other. At least, I assume so. The two-player rules are very, very short. They are just this little blurb right here. Uh, so I believe blue is the only one scored. So blue crushing it. Hey, what's up, blue? Yeah, get you some. So last but not least, we are going to do individual business owned, one point each. So players gain one point for every building they own on the board. So let's do, uh, let's do orange first. So hey. one, two, three points for orange. One, two, three. Hey, buddy. I'm yellow has one, two, three points for yellow. And then we got purple, who has four. Hey, buddy, I'm right at your back. And blue, who also has four. Get you some, blue. Blue's my big dog. You the best. No, he's four. He has five. Uh, yeah, and now he has five plus four, which is nine. And this is why. Do not bump anything else. No, stop touching them. Just stop touching them. Stop touching them. This whole area. You don't touch it. Don't shh, touch shh. it. Don't even breathe on it. Don't think about it. So now... We're done with the, the first round. We move on to the second round, which is going to be you putting four of these pieces and four of these pieces into your area. Now, one thing that I do want to pay attention and I want to note to you, Sean, we're playing a two-player version of the game. I'm pretty sure in the three-player and the four-player version of the game, you use all of your building pieces. However, in a four-player version of the game, we will not be using all of our pieces. So make sure you use your big pieces. You don't want to be left at the end of the game not holding on to big pieces, okay? So that is something that I just did the math in my head. Make sure you're bopping out the big boys in the first four rounds, okay? Boom. Got a four? All right. Well, we should bring it. Well, you bring it. You bring it. You bring it. Big, big Got dogs. Got a three. <sighs> Got a two. Actually, I do want to mention that we have been doing something incorrectly. This is actually supposed to go uh, clockwise. You're supposed to be selecting your six. 
I don't think it really matters. You're not looking at what I'm doing, and I'm not looking at what you're doing, Sean, correct? So I think simultaneous action for most families is probably going to be uh, good here. Unless, of course, you know, maybe it's the last round. Maybe it's super close. What game is that? There's a game that I've played where, depending on how tight the game is, they change the rules. Oh, man, it's driving me nuts. Like, normally it's just a simultaneous action you take, but if the game's super close, you can request... Orleans. Orleans is like that. Where normally it's all simultaneous action, picking out your workers. But if it's too close, you do it. So I would say that'd probably be a good way to go. Uh, and you go first, sir. So which area would you like to go? Purple coming down with a two-story, it looks like. Play the card. Oh, yeah. And keep them right here so you don't get it mixed up. And Sean, why do you have one, two, three, four, five over oh, here? Oh, yeah. There. Let's do that. Either way, take your turn. Okay. I'm putting this right there. All right. So where is it going? Oh, nobody's played on that spot. Oh, what? No, dude. This is my city. Why are you here? This I, is my place. I don't appreciate that. I do not appreciate that. I'm just going to go right here with this little baby one. A little baby one, a little two-story. Your turn. Don't forget to draw a card. Oh, yeah. Let's play S. And... Where shall you go? Oh, the places you'll go, Sean. All right, all right. Hey, buddy. Okay, this city's really popping. I don't like that. I don't like how popping this city is. You're also competing with yourself over here, Sean. Just a heads up. Am I? Purple versus orange. Now, you're also competing against me, but let's just see how it works. I've never played this game either, so we're both learning at the same time here. All right, let's go with... Hmm. I think it's time that you started to see Blue visiting over here. What you got? Do you have three cards or four cards? Four? Okay. Uh, Where are you going? Hey. Don't forget, you can take over one of these if you play uh on top of it or you could go right there going to the bottom right where's it going to the bottom right sean which one's playing you know whoa what's... what <laughs> that was a power play right there thanks for the boost so we now have a new tallest skyscraper in the city okay okay I guess all these other skyscrapers are just little baby skyscrapers. Look at this baby four-story skyscraper. Did you draw a card like you're supposed to oh, yeah. every single time? No. Your turn. Okay. And Sean, don't forget, you should be thinking about what you're going to do on your next turn when it's my turn. All right? Can you do that? Yeah. Oh, little baby. Are you taking control of why this is Yellow City? has been ruined by the purple riffraff <laughs> coming in and putting purple everywhere. I do not like it. I do not like it at all. This is my city! It is your turn. Sean, turn off your cell phone, please. I don't have one. You need to play a card first. Oh. Tell me you drew a card at the end of your turn. You did not. Sean, draw a card at the end of your turn. And play this one. What you play it? Where you play it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a big dog right there. That's a big dog. That's a big one. Okay. Hmm. Sean, did you draw a card? Oh, yeah. Draw. 
so now the question is, what do I do? What do I, what should I do? You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna chill right there. Just relax up top right. I just gotta get away. Get away for a while. Yeah. You better run. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Which piece you playing? I'm gonna play it. Okay, okay. Draw a card, Sean. Every time. Stop right. I'm going right here. Your turn. Top right. Where are you going? On the top right. I hate when you take my building <laughs> and you take control of the city, too, at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Buddy boy? Why don't we just go... Oh, I don't have the cards to do what I want to do! Why are you so restricted, game? Stupid rules and stupid game. Make me follow rules. All right, last one of the round. Where is that purple going? Around town. You could put it right here, but he's this... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was going to take control. I can still take control of the city. And I will take control. I don't have the right card! <laughs> <coughs> this is an interesting one. You know what? We will go ahead and... How about we do this right here? We're going to go to the bottom left. And we're going to say... Oh, boom! Big boy plays, yeah. Biggest city in the city goes to Yella. That didn't make any sense. All right, scoring track. I'm going to move to me. I will be the beginner of the first round. Let's do some scoring. First things, tallest skyscraper. Oh, yeah, it's up here up in the yellow corner. So yellow gets three. Move to six. Yellow did not have a particularly good round aside from that, though, it looks like. Next... We go to the controlled areas. So purple controls one area. Yes, one area. So purple will score two points. Two. two. Hey, Yellow boy. scores. Uh, let's do blue next. So blue scores one area, two areas. So blue scores four points. Man, blue is really rocking. Orange has control of one, two areas because you have control over here with your two buildings. So four points for orange. Hey, buddy. And then uh, yellow controls absolutely nothing. Because <laughs> you destroyed everything they worked for. Everything that was supposed to be. All right. And then we score one point for each color. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with purple. So purple scores one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Put you at 14. Hey. First place for now. For now. Next we'll do blue. Uh, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is made 20. And then we'll do orange, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, which puts you at 13. And then yellow has one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, like I said, yellow did not have a particularly good turn. Hey, yellow! Right, I can so barely see you! We are halfway through the game now. Sean, do you have four cards in your hand? Did you draw? Come on, man. Every single time. You can't forget. I'm not going to remind you anymore. Do you understand me? Yes. This is the last reminder because here's the thing. That is going to make it harder on you to play the game. If you don't notice, you have less choices. So once again, pick four blue, four yellow. Well, in your case, four orange, four purple. And remember, we're going to play two more rounds. So you want to make sure you're using all your big ones, at least before the end of the game. Oh, yeah. There we go. Those are the big ones. There's are the big boy. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. That looks good. That looks solid. I am happy. Yellow is making the comeback right now. Are you ready for this yellow comeback, Sean? Everybody's been dissing on Janine because she's yellow. But Janine's like, no more. I've been saving my big ones. They're coming. They are coming for you. All right. You got your four and four? Big boy. Oh, looks like we got some big boys going on here. All right. So first thing I would like to do is play a card because that's how this game works and we will play right 
here. And I will go with a yellow one right there. No, I'm going to go with it right here. Your turn. I'm going to draw a card so I don't have to yell at myself. <laughs> Thank you for putting in the middle. Where is the, the little big three-story purple orange one coming in? Three-story orange coming to town. Where's it going to get laid down? Oh, orange just took control of... Oh, actually, no, orange just got... Wait, did you score points for orange over there? No, 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 yeah, you did, because I just put this here. Yeah, orange takes back control of that city. Don't forget to draw... Oh, I'm not reminding you ever again after that one. <laughs> It's just such habit. All right, here we go. Blue, what you gonna do with big bad blue? All right. Sean, put it where it goes. Why would you take all the effort to put it right next to where it goes? Where is the orange? Or the purple going? Is that a four story? Oh, here it is, where's it going? Very nice, very nice. And uh, actually, you're you're fighting with yourself up there, second and third place. But hey, whatever. We'll see how it works out. Where do I want to go? I would like to go right, right here. We'll go sh blah, dibbity 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 down. What? It's your turn. What you gonna do? You want to get down? Alright, we'll shuffle these. I'm not actually supposed to shuffle them until we take that last card, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care! I will shuffle them before the discard pile runs out, and you will deal with it. I actually wanted that to happen. What? I'm going to unshuffle all these. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are you going? They're both free stores. They are, so that's uh, very smart. You just took control of that, and I probably have four cards. And you are furious. Um, I've been happier. But I think I will take out my vengeance on this one right stay out of this. You can't take that piece. You cannot take that piece. You can only take the pieces that are up there. Yeah. Don't cheat. <laughs> oh, I just did you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I was like, what? That is definitely not legal. <laughs> all right, all right, fine, fair enough. You want to, you want to, you want to play like that? You want to play like that? You play like that, and I quit. I'm going to a different part of the city. I don't want to play like that. Your turn. I'm going to the center of one of these cities. Mm. Which city? You could start a new building. You could take control of an old building. You could even build on one of your old buildings. Even though I don't know if that'd be the smartest idea, unless you really wanted three points. <laughs> oh, taking control of that one. Okay, okay. All right, I see you. I see you. But you know what else I see? I see the fact that you played all your oranges, so I can just come. Oh, I almost cheated. Yeah, cheetah. Let's see. It's one story to three stories. So I can just come over here with this little two story, and this is my house. My house. Come on, Sean. What you gonna do now? You're not playing any orange. That's for sure. I know. But I could take that back if I had the right card. Hey, I kind of like. I kind of like that aspect of like you're just like yeah, I'm gonna take it back, and you're like oh, I don't. I need the right card. Where will you go? Where will I go? 
will I go? There's an Either way go, bro. There's an obvious place. I don't know if that was an obvious place, but sure. You got a point for that as long as nobody goes on top of it. And by nobody, I mean me. Which I won't. You're welcome. I'm too busy just crushing the hopes and dreams of this city right here. Now that one, I do believe, is taller. Yes, that one is definitely taller. That is nine stories. And this one is only nine stories. So they're tied. <laughs> they're tied. The, 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 mine and yours are tied? This one? Orange player gets two. Of course, it does not give you in the rules an example of what happens if both buildings are tied. Why would you possibly want to include that in your rule booklet? Yeah, what a dumb idea. That was, that was being sarcastic. That should absolutely be in the rule booklet. I know. Your I'll turn, catch you Sean. Sarcasm. Oh, God. Gotcha. Gotcha, I said. I mean. Gotcha. I'm glad that you got it. Can. I'm going to assume no player scores it because nobody gets it in a dip. So yeah, yeah, this is. I'll even show you the viewer right here. Tallest building, three points. What if there's a tie? Yeah, no, we're not telling you. Over here, most buildings owned in a city. Oh, if there's a tie, then nobody scores. You couldn't, you couldn't copy paste that from here to there. Yeah, brother. Because now it's like, well, did they specifically not put it there? So ties. Dude, you guys not bump stuff. I don't know. We're going to make it so that if you do not have the tallest building, you will not score any points, which actually hurts me because both of them are yellow. That was such a stupid idea. Why did I do that? Your turn. Oh, please. I think he's right here. All right. And with my last turn. Oh, actually, you know what I'm doing? <gasps> oh, Baby. I didn't get the card I wanted. That's Finally. Sean, do not yell. Mm, you know what I could do? You know what I really could do? One, two, three, four, five, six. I could just go right here, and that would give me ten. No, 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 it wouldn't. It'd give me... Yeah, it'd give me ten stories. Yeah! We got a new tall building in town. Ha, ha, ha. So... Uh, yeah, I have to play the card, obviously, or else I'd be cheating. So there's the card, and just like that, we score the points, and we will play one. No, I didn't play my last purple. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. And I'm putting it right there. Sorry. Is it a four? Yes. Oh, oh no, you just take my toes. That's, that's the wrong area. No, that I didn't play that. I played that. That was my, that was mine. That was mine, and you played that card over it. Yeah, I did. How many cards are in your hand, Sean? That's free now. Okay. Uh, I just don't understand how that happened, but sure, go for it. I did not pay attention. So uh -huh. you now have the highest building in all the land, and you have blocked me from scoring two points. Well, actually, everybody's blocked over there from points. Either way, let's see the highest building. Three points is going to go to purple, creeping up on blue. Uh, control of city. No one controls this block right here. It's two to two to two. Over here, purple's going to get two points. And so purple gets two points. Hey, brother. Let's I'm see over you. here. Blue has control because blue has two. Everybody else has one. So two. And blue has control here, which is four. Blue has control here, which is six. Blue, stay strong, baby. Stay strong, blue. And then over here, orange has control. So orange will get two points over there so last but not least you score a point for your different buildings and we'll score uh yellow first oh yellow you're so bad one two three four five points for yellow hey. they're still in last orange one two three four five six six points for orange put you 21 purple one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven wowzers 30 points and then blue one two three four, five, six, seven, eight points. So that's 34. Ooh, this is a, this is a pretty close game. I'm in first, but I'm also in last. And I'm in second. Would you like to know who's winning right now? Who? 
Well, we have to add it up. So right now I have 34 plus 14, which would be 48 points. How much? You have 30 plus 21, which means you have 51 points. So right now you are winning by three points, good sir. But we have one last round. That was a big play. That was a big play. That you gaining three points and me losing three points made the difference. A very like, nice play. Yeah, I was like, is that a four or a three? Oh, not to mention you blocked yellow from getting two points here because yellow was going to have control of this area. So you blocked me out Sorry. of two, three, six points with that play. Very nicely played. Sorry. All right, four and four. This is the last time we'll be doing it. The rest of your pieces you will not utilize in a two-player version of the game. Uh, and it's pretty easy for me. I got four big yellow ones. And then, all right. Box insert, in case you want it. It's a nice box insert. It holds everything well. No complaints about that. All right. You just going with your biggest ones? Yeah. Yep, makes sense. Why would you go with the little ones? You it's wouldn't. the last round. And you go first. Here we go. I got to make up three points. Can Can I do it? Yeah, baby. You better believe I can. Hey, this is free. That's free. Do you have the card to play it, though, Wait. Sean? <gasps> Come on, man. This is the last round. I have free cards. Come on, man. This is the last round. Yes. I do. Yes, I do have the card to play it. No, 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 no. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Those are your four over here. You already have this one down here, I do believe. I think. No. No? Okay. Okay, then put that on there. Could have swore you did, but if you say you did not, you know about your pieces better than I do. All right, it's my turn. I have got to this... do something here. I've hey, guys, I made the Empire State Building with Yellow's help. All right, we're going to go ahead and go right here, and I'll go ahead and boom. Okay. Your turn. Let's do. Do. <laughs> Let's do this. Hmm. All right, all right. Taking over over there. My turn. What do I want to do? I I used all little guys for the first because I didn't want to waste my big guys. Yeah, I don't really know what the strategy would be on when to use certain cards or when not to. I think this would be a game that I, I look forward to exploring more. I think I'm going to like it better when I only have one color to play with. Um, it takes that extra aspect of trying not to compete against yourself out of the game. Yeah. But then again, I was really trying to focus on it, and you're beating me, so what do I know? Your turn. Right in the middle. Smack dab in the middle. Where are you going in the middle? You better believe. Two. two against two. All right. Yeah. So you've taken control of that. This is my seating. All right. Where do I want to go? That is the question. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So it's a three story one? Yeah, that's a three. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to go ahead and go boom, baby. Boom. Boom. You trying to catch up with me with the toss? Maybe. Maybe not. No, I'm not. <laughs> At least not right now. Okay, the game looks cool. I gotta say, looking at the game, like the city we built is actually kind of neat. Yeah. I do wish they would have done it. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the art style, though. Yeah. 
No. I really would have liked it better if this, for me personally, if it was like a big city. Like if this was just like a big city map and like it had like hot dog vendors and like taxi cabs yeah. and tourist groups maybe popping around. Maybe make it like kind of a, a, a very busy board where there's lots to see on the board. But then again, I'm sure some people absolutely love this art style. I think the artwork is well done though. I do yeah. like the art. It's just I like the art on the cards. Yes, I do like as well. The aquarium, the swimming, the dancing, the golfing. It's your turn. Okay. Those last five turns going to be big ones. All right, going top right. Where are we going top right? You should know. Mm, taking control. All right. Purple's going everywhere. Mm. This is a bit Purple? I, I can see a lot of purple around the whole entire city of Man Manhattan. Don't you see what I'm talking about? So much purple. I do. I do. Purple see, is I do. I see what you're talking about. Purple is spreading everywhere. Right, I'm going to go right here and we're just going to put a yellow one right there. Okay. Okay. You doing it? Yes. Okay. I'm doing it. Sean, you have got to be more careful because where those pieces are have to be back in the exact right spot because it could really, it could really change the game. Do you understand how much it could yeah. change? Explain to me how much it could change the game. You're like, I think you're just saying that to say it. So you can like, where, okay, I think it was like right so, there? Yeah, well, that would obviously drastically change the game. But no, I'm more like if you accidentally put this right here then I might be able to play on it now because you accidentally put it in the wrong spot. Or I might not be able to play on it. I might have been planning on playing on it because I had this card and I was like, oh, wait, I thought it was right here. So that's why you have to be very careful. Not to mention, if you bump these, that could be really bad. Unless you want to bump this one a little bit that way. Go for it. No! Just bump that yellow one just psh, like a little cat. So did you play your piece? No, you did not. It is your turn. Mm -hmm. Why are you putting your cards down when it is your turn? You gotta play a card. I already did. Oh, that, okay. That was the card I played. That's right. You bump something over. Oh, shoot. Mm, okay. Purple everywhere. I really don't like all the purple everywhere. Purple, purple, purple. I get it, get it, get it. I still don't, don't, don't like it. Purple city, baby. This Makes is, me kind of mad. This is, this is not Matt Hatton. It's Matt Purple. Oh. That's a two purple you have left? Well, then that means I... You mean two orange and one purple? Nope, that's not what I mean. Alright, I'm going to place this right here. Oh, yeah, do I want to do that? Uh, yes, I'll do that. Did you just... Yeah, okay, it's your turn. Okay. Now I'm putting this thingy. And purple everywhere. Very smart play. Very smart play, young sir. Because that, you were, I had taken away your two points from you. Draw, oh, I remember. I, I had taken away your two points there, but now you have reclaimed it. And I have to figure out with what I am going to do. With your four story, two story, and two story. Oh my goodness. Oh, all right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this big dog right here and we're gonna go right there. Hey, congratulations, tallest building. Tallest Tied. building in the city. Double check it real quick. It's tied. So neither of us get the points right now. So that's yeah. a big three point swing. Could go one way or the other, buddy. Which way's it going? Buddy! Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's a point. That's a, it's an easy point. We're going to go right up here. And we'll place a blue right there. Blue is going to have to be my workhorse. Blue has got to be my everything. Not. All right, where 
where's that last one going? Okay, right there. So, oh man. Where you put in your last little baby? I don't know where my last little baby, as you call it, will go. <laughs> it's a blue. Little baby blue. Is there anywhere so I can put cute. it that would really help me a lot? I don't see anyone that's going to really help me a lot. So you know what? I'm going to take my three points back. And I'm just going to go, bah, 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 tallest skyscraper in the world. And here we go. Final uh, points. Are you sure it's taller than the Empire State Building? Uh, I'm 100% sure. But isn't this a little baby miniature? Are they, you, aren't these little miniatures? You don't listen to him. I'm covering the baby's ears. You'd be nice. <laughs> All right. Anywho, let's oh, do scoring. Baby. Tallest building, blue points. You want to just end the game right now? Just... <laughs> Daddy of 37. No. All right, so now we'll do uh, control. Orange has control of here. Two. So orange has control of one, so orange is going to score two points. Bum, bum. Uh, blue has control right here, so this is two. Does blue have control anywhere else? Yeah, right here, which is four. So four points for blue. Blue has really been wrecking. Purple has control over here and control over there, so it is four points for purple. And then yellow has control right here, and that is it, because I didn't take back control over here. Oh. So two points for yellow, and you are so stinky, yellow! I hate you! You're going to cost me the game. All right, so we've decided, so now it's just points. It's just straight up points. You want to do your, which color do you want to do first? Which color would you like to do first? Orange. Orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very nice round for orange. 32, that might have won you the game. What color next? P U R P L E. Purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, make it stop. 47. Ow. <laughs> And we got blue? Sure, we'll go blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. So I beat you. Blue beat purple, but I'm pretty sure orange is going to crush yellow. Uh, have we done orange yet? Yeah, we did orange, right? And yeah, a little right. stinky yeah. yellow. Keep your voice down. Don't yell in the videos. We've talked about this little many, many times. One, two, three, yellow. four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Really? No yellow in any of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which means, yes, indeed, your score, grand total 32 plus 47, would put you at 79, which is the most points you can get. Wow. Actually, you just wrap around. And I have 24 plus 49, which means I have 73, and you have won the game. Good, sir. Good game. So what did you think of Manhattan, Sean? I liked it. Uh, what? So first and foremost... Sean is still at the age where he's much more likely to like games when he wins and dislike games when he loses. If I would have came back and beat you, would you still like this game? That's an important question to note. Um, it, it would take a little bit, but yeah. Okay, so you would still like, so you like the game just period. It's not because you won, correct? Yeah. All right, what in particular did you like about the game? I like, I like how, I like the art on the cards i liked the different like oh yeah you did mention that yeah like, just the artwork in general what do you think about the board mm, i i like it better i like it but i like it better if the, the thing you said the you like the idea of yeah. the, the city the city better because it is based off manhattan which is a pretty pretty famous area mm-hmm uh, what about the gameplay? Did you did you like how simple it was? Just play a card, draw a card, play yeah. a draw, draw a card? Yeah. Okay. Very simple. And I agree. I, I like the game. Um, I think it definitely... I don't think the game is amazing. Well, I, I think I like it more with just one color. Yeah. So you had to keep track of more things, definitely, with this version of the game and uh, competing with yourself, even though you didn't really worry about that. Or did you worry about that? so much well it worked out for you but there you go that is manhattan it looks like it might be a cup of tea hopefully you can play it and teach it now as well if you enjoyed what we're doing please sure to click on that subscribe button down below if you would like to support the channel which would be 
hugely amazing, please consider supporting the Patreon down below or click that Amazon associate link down below. Go buy anything on Amazon, throws a couple pennies my way. Seriously, you could buy anything on Amazon and I'll get a couple pennies off of it. It's really kind of cool. It also shows me what people bought, but it doesn't show who bought it. So it's just like interesting to be like, oh, someone bought, you know, like a, a sniper rifle scope or something. And it's like, I got 11 cents off of that. Awesome. <laughs> It's kind of weird. Now, that's sniper a weird thing. Rifle scope? I've never had anyone buy a sniper rifle scope, but I've had some people buy some uh, some stuff that they clearly clicked on the link and then they just started getting all looking at all sorts of different stuff on Amazon. But in the comments below, let me know. Sean, you have a question for the people? Yeah. What's okay. your question? If you nice box once again. Live in one place that has. One temperature. Oh, it doesn't fit. What would it be like? Oh, the temperature, huh? Like really cold, hot, warm. Oh, okay. Like you pick the temperature. So, Ooh, okay. so this is a place where the temperature remains pretty consistent throughout the entire year. Yeah. So, like, if I pick really warm, I will not get any snow. It will never get cold. Um, it might get cold of. of a little bit, but not most of the time. Okay, okay. It, it'll be like Florida with rain. Okay. Uh, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I'm still thinking, so... For me personally, I have... You know, I've always liked snow, but I gotta say, I, I, I'm done with it. I'm done with the snow. I'm done with the bad drivers on snow. I would like a place that is around 66 degrees all the time. That's warm enough that even... If it's, even if it's like really windy, I still wouldn't need a hoodie, but having a hoodie is nice. Yeah. It's like the perfect hoodie weather. You might take it off. It gets a little too sweaty. You might leave it on. You might wrap it around your, your, your stomach. That's what I was going to do. Oh, you're going to go with a, about 60, 70 degrees yeah. somewhere there? Yeah. All right. Well, let us know in the comments below. What would you like? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.